The next passage that we are analyzing together um, is from Nikki Giovanni. Um, and if you've never read Nikki Giovanni before, I highly recommend her. Um, as far as I know, she's still alive and well in writing. Um, she is a black American writer um, who writes some pretty awesome poetry, prose. That's what we're looking at here. Uh, this is her essay or part of her essay called Campus Racism 101. And so we're going to look at her syntax here and how the syntax helps her convey meaning. And again, for this passage, just like you did for the last one, you will write the purpose of Giovanni's syntax and you will put that purpose statement, that sentence um, in Canvas, and I will give you feedback on that. So first, let's read through the passage together, and it's called Campus Racism 101 by Nikki Giovanni. She says, is it difficult to attend a predominantly white college compared with what? Being passed over for promotion because you lack credentials, being turned down for jobs because you are not college educated, joining the armed forces or going to jail because you cannot find an alternative to the streets. Let's have a little perspective here. Where can you go and what can you do that frees you from interacting with the white American mentality? You are going to interact. The only question is, will you be in some control of yourself and your actions, or will you be controlled by others? I'm going to recommend self-control. What's the difference between prison and college? They both prescribe your behavior for a given period of time. They both allow you to read books and develop our writing. They both give you time alone to think and time with your peers to talk about issues. But four years of prison doesn't give you a passport to greater opportunities. Most likely, that time only gives you greater knowledge of how to get back in. Four years of college gives you an opportunity not only to lift yourself, but to serve your people effectively. What's the difference when you are called the N-word in college from when you are called the N-word in prison? In college, you can, though I admit with effort, Follow procedures to have those students who called you the N-word kicked out or suspended. You can bring issues to public attention without risking your life. But mostly, college is and always has been the future. We neither less nor more than any other people need knowledge. There are discomforts attached to attending predominantly white colleges, though no more so than living in a racist world. So again, that's from Nikki Giovanni's essay, Campus Racism 101. Now we're going to go to our analysis cheat sheet, and we're going to start by looking at the sentence length, the grammatical classification, the function, and then the rhetorical function. So let's go back and see what we notice. Now, first of all, our sentence is long, short, or a variety. Uh, we can't scan through them. No, we're looking at these. Uh, I'd say that there's definitely a variety of sentence lengths here. Okay, so that means that we're going to have um, multiple sentence types. Nothing really sticks out at us, so we're not too concerned there. So let's go on to the function. We may notice that there are a lot of question marks in this passage, which would, in, in, which would tell us um, that we're looking at a lot of interrogative uh, sentences. And if we're looking at interrogative sentences, if we go down our cheat sheet, um, we will notice that a lot of these questions are rhetorical questions. And that's really interesting and something that we want to pay attention to. What is Nikki Giovanni asking her audience to think about? Why would she want them to think about those those things and and that's going to lead us to the purpose of her syntax so what we're going to add to our charts is the definition for interrogative so interrogative um, syntax asks a question and ends with a question mark did you eat lunch did you read and I do hope you're reading your nonfiction novel I'll give you that project as soon as we're back rhetorical questions are a question which does not require an answer because the answer is obvious. It emphasizes the point. It questions readers' assumptions. Um, does it look like I care? Actually, that's not really rhetorical. I hope you realize I do care because I'm making sure we get through this unit. Um, I want you all to reach out if you have questions. Um, I'm really, really concerned that we continue to learn during um, this shutdown because that's important to me. So 
maybe I should have changed the rhetorical question because I really do hope it looks like I care because I do. Um, so once we have looked at that, um, what you all will do is go back to the passage, think about what was the purpose of Giovanni's syntax. You will write your answer to that and put that on Canvas. Um, and when you finish, go on to the next video because you're ready to go ahead and write your fourth draft of the Thomas Paine essay, and I will explain the directions in the next video and an assignment.